Welcome back everybody, Patrick here, moving on to another vector question. So we got ABCD, which is a quadrilateral, where the vector AB is equal to 4 times the vector X, vector CD is equal to 2 times the vector Y, and vector AC is equal to 3 vector X minus vector Y. And we have to express vector BD in terms of X and Y. So first thing I'd recommend is drawing some kind of quadrilateral. Let's say like this. So this is A, B, C, and D. Right, vector AB here is uh, four times vector X. Vector CD, which is this vector here, right, is two times vector Y. And then vector AC, which is this over here, is vector 3x minus y. And we need to express this vector here, BD, in terms of x and y, the dotted vector. So how can we do that? Well, how can we go from B to D? using these three vectors here. Well, notice we can go from B to A, and then we can go from A to C, and then we can go from C to D. So basically, we can say that vector BD is equal to vector BA, right? So it would be this vector, but going the opposite way, plus vector AC, So BA plus AC plus CD. And that would give us a resultant vector of BD. And now notice that all of these vectors here we have in terms of X and Y. So we know that vector AB is equal to 4 times vector X. Well, that means BA is going to go the opposite direction than AB, and so that's just going to be negative 4 times vector x. And then vector AC we have in terms of 3x minus vector y, so that there is vector AC, and then vector CD we have as well right here, which is 2y. And now notice at this point, it's like collecting like terms. So we got negative vector, uh, negative four times vector x plus three times vector x minus vector y plus two times vector y. Well, these two, we can add negative four times vector x plus three times vector x. That would give us negative one vector x. We could just put a negative there. And then negative 1 vector y plus 2 vector y would give us positive 1 vector y, or just like that. And so that is the final answer. We express vector BD in terms of x and y. So when you get a question like this, my suggestion is to draw it out, see what vectors you are given. So notice we are given this vector, we are given this vector, and then we are given this vector. And we had to find, somehow combining these vectors, how we can make the vector BD here. And you may have thought to maybe go BC and then CD, but notice that we don't have a vector for BC or CB. So it would be really tough to do that. So we have to almost take like a detour, quote unquote. So we can go from B to A, then A to C, then C to D. And then we had uh, expressions in terms of x and y for those three vectors. So we were able to do that. And then just noticing that vector BA is the opposite direction of AB. So instead of four times vector x, you've got to put negative four times vector x. And then when you do all of that, uh, collect all the like vectors, quote unquote, you end up getting vector BD equaling negative vector x plus vector y.